What's cracking guys? Blair here with my partner Brandon. This is the SATT, our second stop for the SATT fishing this year. Brandon and I's goal is to make the TOC, which we actually already did at our last tournament. So goal number one's complete. Our next goal is to win a tournament and that's our goal for today. So team of the year is on the line for us as well. We got 10th place in our first tournament, which is a good place to set us up we need to do well today, and then hopefully on Mille Lacs, we'll do well there as well. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Should be a fun day. Yeah. God's plan. Goal is to win, or for sure the top five, so we can do have a good chance for the Mille Lacs if we get in. Yes, sir. All right, let's, let's get, get it. Get it. It's long, not big, but it's long. Right? Okay, first fish, guys, on the untamed tackle shiitake jig. We're gonna get her measured up here. That's a decent first one. Start the day out with a nice long fish, 17 and three quarter. Let's go. See you, girl. Thank you. All right, guys, just stuck this dandy on the untamed tackle shiitake jig. These jigs are insane. They just catch big ones. Let's go. We got to get her measured here. My regular GoPro angle did not work, so it actually died. So that is a beautiful fish right there. Boom, guys. 18 and three quarter inch on the untamed tackle shiitake jig. Gonna get back to fishing here, but oh my gosh, that was a stressful fight. Didn't get it on camera, but that is a beautiful three pound whitefish bass. Thank you, girl. Thank you so much. We got two fish in the boat right now. The average is good. <laughs> what the? I suppose you probably got to open your bail to cast a bait out there, huh? <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, so all I was doing, I just cast it straight down. I'm sticking more like right on the edge instead of out from it and I was seeing some weeds down there and I just decided to kind of cast in the weeds a little bit and I landed in the right spot I guess. <laughs> so I lifted up and it was like dunk. I gave it a second and set the hook and just dude straight weight on the spinning pole. Never say spinning poles don't catch big ones because they've been coming in clutch for us these last two tournaments. Yeah, the marks. I'll make a couple more casts and then move a little bit. Start moving. That should be money. Pecking either if she's blue there. That's big one. Big one. Get up out of there. Ah, it might not be that big. That's good though. Yeah. Let's go. Side imaging, baby. Stay down. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, not into those weeds. I gotta keep them up out of them. Oh no. Come on. Come on.
Are you kidding? I think he's slowly coming. He should be on there still. Yes, you got him. There we go. Oh my gosh, that was stressful. <laughs> Jeez. Choked it. That's what we're talking about. Randall, side imaging, baby. Let's go. Choked that too. I felt bluegill ticks and then I got, I let my line slack, lifted up and there was weight there. Felt this one tick and thought he let go. Lift it up again and my line was swimming. 18 and a half incher guys. Let's go. On Tame Tackle Shiitake Jig. Coming in clutch. <laughs> What's that? Thank you girl. That's a three pounder all day. See ya. Let's go Beach. Let's go. All right, 15 inch, you guys. Little guy, we're filling out our limit here. Twelve and a quarter. <laughs> Fifth fish. See you, boss. Come on. I got one. Stay on. All right guys, just punched up a 17 and a half. This thing's super fat. It actually sucks because I can't get it to be, like it's not as long as it actually is because the girth on this thing is insane. That's a three pounder, she's been eating good. Wow. 17 and a half going back. Yes. Tighten up. Let's go, Beach. One more bite. And then we're out of here, pretty much. There he is. Nice. It's fish number seven right here, 16 and a quarter. Can't go wrong with that, it's not terrible. Thank you. She's angry. Alright guys, it's been almost three hours and we haven't got a bite. Finally got one. It's been a brutal last period. That's 16. Yep, 16. <laughs> That's a four inch coal. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, 16 inch. Thank you, baby. On the dropper. See ya. All right guys, so I just caught that last fish fishing a drop shot. It has been a brutal last half of the day. It's like the fish just absolutely turned off. We fished several areas, um, areas we fished in the morning that we caught good ones. Randall's on. There we go. Oh no. Shoot. We fished several areas that we fished this morning and caught big ones and it's just turned off tremendously, it's insane. So 
We're just fishing our little weed line here, trying to make some upgrades. We have no idea where we're at right now on the standings. I told dad, we don't even want to know until the tournament's over, unless we have seven three pounders, which we do not have. So at the beginning of this tournament, we said God's plan. If it's God's plan, it's God's plan. And we've got just over 20 minutes left in the tournament to make it happen. So we're going to see what we can do, but that's just an update for you guys. All right, guys tournament's over <laughs> we ended up in eighth place uh unofficially that's what it should be so cannot complain with that that's another top 10 in the books for us this season two top 10s in a row is awesome um, but unfortunately we were obviously going for the win or at least a top five and not getting that isn't enough for what we were looking for with these tournaments i mean there's highs and lows the highs are why we love it and the lows obviously today is not a low um but just you know, we went out there, did our best, God's plan. It's preparing us for college and uh, big time, so yep. that's what we're looking for. He's going to BSU in Minnesota. I'm going down to Montevallo in Alabama. Two really good schools for fishing. Just BSU is more for Minnesota, top Minnesota schools for mm -hmm. fishing. It's going down to the big Alabama for those big tournaments. Yes, sir. So. We got a lot of fishing in our future. Huge thank you to all of my sponsors, Untamed Tackle, of course. You guys saw, we caught most of our fish actually on Untamed Tackle today, which was awesome. I think we caught them all on Untamed Tackle, actually. Um, the drop shot weights, the tungsten weights, and then the shiitake jig were what we caught all of our fish on. Johnson's port side here, they're my second job over the summer. Absolutely love the shop. If you guys are ever in the Mille Lacs area, check them out. And then we've got Libex Marine, they are actually the only reason we're fishing this tournament today. Um, they saved our butts a couple days ago. We were crazy. The uh, reserve tank on our motor for the oil actually was busted and we were leaking oil everywhere. In quick notice, uh, they were able to help us out and get that replaced. So they saved our butts there. Big thanks to Libex Marine. Yep, huge thanks to Libex Marine. And just super grateful to have them as a sponsor. And then Pequot Tool Manufacturing and LMI Lawn Care, my main job for the summer. So overall, a good tournament, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully there'll be a Mille Lacs tournament that you guys can watch. All right, guys, later. See ya. And to top it off before I close this video off, my grandparents came out. Yeah. Good job, Maynard. <laughs> my grandpa calls me Maynard. That's his nickname for me. So it's always nice when they come out and help and support me.